Hey, my name is Sam. I'm a software engineer at Google from Orlando, Florida. Some of my uh, pleasures outside of work are uh, soccer, uh, running, exercising in general. Um, I like to be outdoors, uh, but I also love being indoors and playing video games and working on little projects on my own time. I would say in high school uh, is really where I um, really got involved with computer science and I started uh, a little early. I think I would say by the time I was a junior I was committed to becoming a computer scientist one day. It started off when I was about 14 and I was really into uh, writing like short stories and novels as a kid. Eventually the you know sort of age of video games came about, Sega Genesis, Nintendo. I always had this nuance of including friends and family in my stories so I actually wanted them to be a part of the story by interacting with it and so I started getting involved with uh, you know making websites and trying to write multiplayer games um, and that kind of got my uh, interest into programming. While I was studying computer science at Sutton University, I became interested in the area of neural networks, which is a sub-area of artificial intelligence. Neural networks are essentially this uh, mathematical concept behind the way that neurons work in our brain. A mathematician had developed the model in you know, about 60s or 70s time frame. So it's kind of a little older theory, but it's becoming uh, more predominantly used in commercial software now and uh, it's starting to really change some of the applications we see. Before I took the AI class, I was a very pragmatic programmer. I would take a problem and immediately start applying a solution. So it was kind of that code and fix, you know, open up a editor or text, you know, notepad or something and start hammering out a solution quickly. But after the AI class, I really started realizing that uh, problems can fit into categories um, like game theory or classification uh, type problems, machine learning. And there are already uh, well-known solutions dating back 30, 40 years. Um, programmers have already done the work that you know, you're trying to do the first time you go through and, and try to learn it. So as a result of taking the AI class, um, I was able to start thinking more generically about the different types of problems and apply uh, you know, maybe more novel approaches uh, to those. And so I went from solving very small problem instances to, you know, really being able to identify the much, much larger scope that a problem existed in. So my journey at Google started four years ago. Uh, I was about ready to graduate and I had applied and I didn't get past the phone interview. And that was really disappointing because I was uh, really excited the opportunity to work here. I had just continued on my research and got employment at Lockheed Martin, uh, and that was still a great opportunity, as it turned out to be. And then four years later, I kind of felt like, uh, you know, along with taking the AI class and stuff, that I wasn't fulfilling what I wanted for my career, which was to tackle larger problems, um, work on bigger data sets, um, have more interaction with my users, or for the people I was developing for, um, and just have a greater impact on the world in general. Um, so I applied again to Google and got employment and it's been incredibly exciting uh, the whole process uh, just going through it. It's a, it's a long one uh, obviously mine four years ago started but I think it's been worth it and it's gonna prove to be a turning point in my career I think. 